Let's get ready to rumble! Good morning, Centennial. It's Friday, September 23rd, and you're watching Titan TV. I'm Morgan. And I'm Michael. On this week's edition, we'll update you on the wildfire destruction and see how we can be better friends to those undergoing medical treatments. We'll learn how some students asked others to homecoming and more. Stay tuned. The recent wildfires have devastated much of Texas. Morgan and Tanner report on the magnitude of the destruction. The end of summer 2011 was devastated with many fires across the east and south regions of the state for over 300 days. More than 150 fires have been burning since August 31st. The worst fires have been in the southern and eastern regions of the state. 250 of the 254 Texas counties are reporting burning bans. In the past week, thousands of people have been allowed to return to their homes or whatever was left of them. The fire in Bastrop County was one of the most severe fires in the southeast region. Since the Bastrop fires started, 34,000 acres have been completely destroyed. 1,600 homes were burned and two people are dead. As of last Thursday, 75% of the Bastrop fire was contained. Many firefighters and military personnel have traveled down to South Texas to contain the fires. This is Tanner and Morgan signing off Titan TV. If you feel moved to help, contact Coach Watson, check with a local church, or contact the Red Cross. Whether it's a friend, family member, a coach, or yourself, chances are you have been affected by cancer. We've talked to students who have survived cancer to gain insight on the best ways to react to a peer going through treatment. September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Every day, 36 children are diagnosed with some form of cancer. One in five of these kids will lose their battle, and 60% of survivors will experience long-term side effects. The most important thing that anyone can do is support kids done with their treatment. I, I received a lot of support. I was taken out of school, but a lot of my friends did visit me. I received a card from everyone. I went to a private school, and everybody was very interconnected and did their best to come and see me and support me, and I felt really loved. Last year when I was going through treatment, it was really cool to see everybody wearing the Team Lauren bracelets and Team Lauren shirts because I knew that I had the support of not only my friends and family, but of my school and of my church and even of just my whole community. I need people there for me and like knowing that they were helping me get through it, it's like, it's almost as if we were getting through it, not just I was getting through it. I feel like that I've gone past it and gotten past it and now it's my job to help other people that are going through it now. Cheer for those still fighting. And remember those we've lost. Once you park your car in a lot, do you give it a second thought? Maybe you should. First week of school, two cars got broken into in the Centennial High School parking lot. We spoke to Officer Springer about the incident. On uh, August 25th, we had uh, two vehicles that were broken into in the west parking lot uh, by forced entry. Uah, they were both uh, 2003 Ford F-150 pickups. We had uh, a possible suspect vehicle was seen on the cameras, uh, being a gray Dodge Ram pickup. It's a single cab, uh, but that's all we've had so far. Uh, McKinney High School has had some of the similar incidences. Uh, we think they may be connected, uh, so we're working with the McKinney police on uh, anything that they have also. Mr. Weller is out there driving around, uh, and he's uh, being vigilant about what to look for and things of that nature. Uh, we've got sec extra security cameras that have been posted outside of the building, uh, so more of the parking lots are covered now. Uh, so. Hopefully in the future, if anything like this happens again, we'll be able to get a better uh, image of them. Uh, remember three simple things. Take, lock, and hide. Take your possessions out of the, out of the vehicle. 
uh, hide your possessions that you do leave in your vehicle and lock your car. Uh, it's not going to prevent it every time like it did in these incidents because uh, they use forced entry, but uh, most of the time that's going to help protect you. Blake and Giovanni reporting. Don't just leave your car titans. Take, lock, and hide. Flowers, chocolates, and car tagging. What do these things have in common? Students have used them to ask others to homecoming. What clever ways have you asked a date to the dance? The homecoming dance is tomorrow, and CHS students have been shopping for dresses and tuxes, putting together mums and garters, and practicing their best dance moves. But most importantly, Titans have been finding their dates, and this year some students got creative. Think your idea was cute? Some students went all out this year when they asked their dates to homecoming, and I asked them just how they did it. Oh, Ross asked me to homecoming um, in a course of like three days. I got a bunch of different little puzzle piece looking things, um, and they all said different things on them, and on the back there were love quotes on them. And then um, the last one that I got, it was like a little piece like this, I don't know, like a V, and it ended up like making a heart, and it said, will you go to homecoming with me? I asked Casey Lamper and I made a shirt that said if she'd go to homecoming with me and she could choose to wear the yes shirt or not, and she did wear the yes shirt. Okay, well, while I was at church in the youth group room, ten people started walking and they were holding up a letter of homecoming, and he walked in last with a question mark and walked up to me with a cake and said, will you go to homecoming with me? He, like, ran across the football field with a giant sign that said U plus me equals homecoming, and it was upside down. But I still got the point, and it was just so adorable because he was in like his little pads and football stuff, and he just looks so cute. This is Ashlyn signing off, Titan TV. Have fun at homecoming, Titan. In an earlier broadcast, we brought you the story of a talented singer. Now we'd like to tell you another story of a student who's turning his love for music into a little extra cash. Music. It's all around us. We store it on our computers, iPods, and even our phones. I spoke to a very talented Titan whom you may be hearing on one of these devices in the very near future. A junior here at Centennial has turned his hobby of making beats into a legitimate business. I spoke to him about how he got started. Uh, I mean, I started playing piano when I was four, and then I just one day I was just like, I heard this song on the radio, I was like, I can make that. And I just started looking into like how to make beats and everything and the production side of it. And after that, you know, just a rap. I just started making beats from then. I, I kind of like just sit back and watch how people like do things and I kind of like taking a different like different music genres you know like some people listen to like hardcore metal type stuff you know you got the rap side the R&B so I just like to take in everything and it just comes out through the through my music you know when I sold my first beat it was I sold my first beat for like two hundred dollars and like that was the happiest day I ever the happiest day I've ever been it's just like I could really do something with this so everything after that I was like this is what I'm gonna do this is my business so I'm gonna take care of it. And I started, I've made mistakes with like smaller amounts of money that would have been deadly if I had been like a major and you know like misplaced a, a, a large sum of money. So I've I've been grateful like to start out at a young age so I can learn from my mistakes now. Kenny has produced for many local artists, including Young Nation. I mean, you can have great material, but if you don't have that that get up and go, if you don't, if people don't know about you. What's the use of having good material? So it's all about the business plan. And then the next comes the music. So I pr it pretty much goes hand in hand, but a little bit up there is the business. Like, I want to have my own style, my own brand. So like, like, you know it's me when I'm, on, when I'm on the radio, so. If you would like to hear some of Kenny's work, head over to www.kennyjbeats.com. That's Beats with a Z. This is Braylon, signing off, Titan TV. Kenny is also making some original beats for Titan TV. You'll hear them in some upcoming shows. Thanks, Kenny. Hey, Michael. Congratulations on your success with Speech, Interp, and Debate. I've heard they've done very well this year. Thanks, Morgan. Now for some meeting updates. Interact Club will meet in the lecture hall in the AA wing Monday right after school. Dues should be paid by this time. Cultural Awareness Club, newly elected officers and those interested in joining are invited to come to the meeting Tuesday, which will be in room A109 right after school. DECA has a meeting Thursday in the multi-purpose room. You may attend either meeting, either before school at 8.20 or after school at 4.20. Welcome, Titans, to this day in history. 
on this day in history, in 1779, John Paul Jones engages the Separatists. When asked to surrender, he says, I've not yet begun to fight, and is regarded as a novel hero in the US Revolutionary War. On this day in history, in 1846, German astronomer Johann Gall discovered Neptune. In this day in history, Nintendo Copay is founded by Fusajiro Yamayuchi. On this day in history, in 1949, Harry Truman announces that the USSR has detonated its first nuclear device, marking the beginning of the race for nuclear supremacy. The same day Bruce Springsteen is born, and that is this day in history. Hey Titan, Zach here with your weather. Today is going to be a bit cooler than usual, having a high of 84 and a low to 58. Perfect day for the homecoming game as we'll see clear skies this afternoon. Saturday, things are going to heat up a bit at a high of 92 and a low of 62. Again, we'll see clear skies throughout the day. On Sunday, the temperature will heat up even more with a high of 96 and a low of 65. The skies will get a bit cloudy, but sunlight should be shining throughout the day. That's it for your weather. Enjoy homecoming weekend. Hey Titans, this year's volleyball players have been doing great this season. Last week they played Heritage and won all three games. This past Tuesday they played Wakeland and once again did great. This Friday they play Arl Turner for the homecoming game. Come out and watch us before you go to the football game. The varsity tennis players have also been playing their hearts out this season. Great job guys, way to make us proud. And in football, they've been doing a fantastic job. This Friday is the homecoming game against Arl Turner. Dress crazy in red and blue and come support our talent Titans. But remember, please check and dress code. Homecoming game 2011. Centennial versus R.L. Turner. CHS Titans are going to win this homecoming game. No. Yes. Go Lions. No. CHS is going to beat R.L. Turner. No. Go Lions. Go Titans. Thanks for watching this week's edition of Titan TV. Wait, um, before we go, Morgan, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Will you go to homecoming with me? Uh, I, I can't. Oh. Um. Oh. I, oh. Uh, ha have a good weekend, Titans. I, I hope you have a good homecoming. Because, because mine's not going to be any good because, because Morgan, Morgan won't go with me and I, and I don't know what I'm going to do with myself this weekend when I, when I'm going to, I'm going to be all alone. Bye, Titans. <laughs>